Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Edit With Me series. In this episode, I'm basically going to show you how I make a 3D scene, which I do in a lot of my edits, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing this episode. Um, last episode, I lost some footage, but all I've done is just continue setting up from Blender, and you can go check out part one if you want to. But yeah, so I'm going to set a time of 30 minutes so I don't lose any more footage. And basically, all that happened last time was I finished animating this girl so i'll show you the animation now it's in slow time but that's basically what i got was her kneeling down and then reaching up with her hand okay so let's continue i need to export all of this but i think the way i have to do it is export this little character so i don't actually know why i've put the uh build in here and the statue there because i'll probably just do like an element but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna hide all these again. So that it makes it easier to select. I don't actually know where this is, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the girl, then I'm going to go to file, and this is to export an animation by the way, so if you downloaded a, a animation character from Mixamo, you would import it as an FBX and then you'll export it, so I'm going to export, OBJ, I'm going to do fizzle blender character. So you're going to want to make a folder for your character and then just name it down here fizzle blender character and then press limit to selected only this usually takes me a few tries and then press export animation and then press export wavefront obj okay i'm gonna to have to hide all of them again I would honestly love to get this channel so um, I'd love to grow into a bigger editing channel save so we'll out this bit I'd love to get to a bigger e editing channel I think that'd be very fun um, I think I'd be prepared for it as well hopefully prepared for it that's what she is. but yeah I'm just not sure how I can oh she's already exported okay let's see I'm just not sure how I can become a bigger channel because I feel like I do everything right, but who knows. Hopefully this is a step in the right direction. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to layer new solid and call it element. This is this plugin does cost money, so but you can do really good 3D stuff with it. There we go. Okay, nice, it's worked. So then, if this will work, so then you'll pick the top one. I think it's the invert normals one and then from bottom and then you go down to normalize size right here and then you see yeah this is where this stuff goes wrong because what is this i'm telling you this happens every single time 
Look at her. Disheveled. Deformed. Oh, it's hideous. Go, oh, what happened? Okay, so now that she actually does look like a crazy person, I'm just gonna save that. Um, I'm already in After Effects. So. So, you have imported your mesh from Blender to Unity. It is less often to see that some of the mesh faces are invisible. Open Blender. Change the shading mode. Turn on the back face culling option. Then go to edit mode. Um, what is this? Oh my goodness. I think. I was watching over part one and it makes it seem like I hate editing. I don't hate editing, I love editing. But I don't think editing loves me sometimes. If I could just... Is this it? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Is actually wrong with her look at this this girl has been possessed so many times in this in this edit with me she has i'm actually starting to think she's possessed i'm oh she's creepy as hell select all faces by clicking can bro there's not oh there's nothing there okay this missing faces thing has happened to me so many times so what i tend to do is okay i'm gonna do it now actually i'm gonna show you guys what i do first select everything go to file export obj fizzle blender character i start naming it random stuff and then i go to limit limit to selected only i literally just press every single one of these and it makes it go really slow but sometimes it works doing oh yes element import movie sequence okay But you can see it's moving super slow and i mean unbearably slow it's so slow but at least she's all intact save it and there she is okay so i can now pretty much close blender But yeah, you see how slow it is. Because I just press everything. So right now I'm scrolling out. So we can see her. 
and then I turn this diffuse color right here to red so you can see what's affected and then I can just turn that to a brown color a bit darker unless I think she came with textures let me just check Okay, yeah, there we go. She has got these. So, hair. Is there a hair diffuse? I don't know. Let's try it out. So, for the diffuse, I'm going to go to this. Load from file. And I'm going to locate her texture pack. for her hair. So I think that's pretty much it. Okay, that did nothing. So undo that. She might have to be flat. Next up. Okay, that's her head. She's blushing. Just do that. She's a ghost, and I'm gonna do the diffuse, the head color. This is the diffuse one. The diffuse is the main color. And there you go, creepy girl. I'm just gonna go back and save this again. Please don't. It's what she deserves. Oh my God. Okay, that's a, like a eyeliner, so that can stay black. The hands. Let's see if she has a diffuser for that. Nice. Okay. Not responding again. I'm gonna have to force quit. Just send. I'm gonna save this screen recording to files if it lets me, because I do not want to lose this footage. Okay. See you in a sec. I'm back. Hopefully it works better this time. If not. I'm gonna give it a rest for the night because it's 10.45 in the evening. Nice, that's saved. This might be it. 
Oh, that's the reflectant too. Need the diffuse. Sure, it's fine. What on earth is going on? It's fine. She'll just have one eye that's darker than the other. Okay, nice. She's got two eyes the same colour now. She's got the gums, teeth, the jacket.
blue just to make things fun. That seems good. Save it. Alright. Hopefully with this disabled, yes, we can move a lot to move it now. I'm gonna import a lot of clicking through a lot of folders but where is it I'm at 3d I think I might have lost it I may have to re-download it Try this one. No, there it all is. Cool. So we've got F oh oh no. It exported correctly. I was not prepared for that. Don't, don't tell me it's animated as well. Hang on. Okay, I don't think it is animated. Well, that's fine then. See, the thing is, I wasn't prepared for it to actually be exported well. Which says a lot about how I edit. But I'm just gonna disable her. Piece by piece. Kind of sad. I think I might have accidentally deleted this. Um, okay, new plan. I'm gonna go back to CG Trader. I'm gonna find that exact one. And then normalize size, and there's your building. It's actually a very nice building. It looks like something you'd get in Assassin's Creed. Great. So I really didn't need to position all that in Blender. There was no need for that, but it's okay. Um, right now, Okay, when I was clearing out storage, I may have accidentally deleted something I needed. Select texture. Yes, we got it. Right. There was U uh, UK2JC. Let's tr is there a... I don't actually know which one the bump is. It might be this one. Let's try it out. UK2JC. So I'll keep it. So load texture file. This is a great model. Rough concrete O G I P. Let's see. O G I P up here. Okay, it's slowly coming to life. 
wood grain. That's not wood. Here it is. Uh, T J T K, T J T K. Glass. I just leave out the glass or do a little I think you can tell how late in the evening it is no just get rid of it okay so this is some kind of wall I'm gonna go to here That might be it. Sure, why not? Brick. U-K-T-N-D-A 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 This building looks great JTK. This one. I'm just gonna save it. Just please. Okay, thank goodness. But it wasn't gonna save then. And then last but not least, the roof. That's great. And then I'm just gonna experiment because there was a HDRI map. So I'm gonna see how it would look 
with that. So to do that, this is basically set in the sky. You're going to get a sphere model and then you're going to go to scale. Just type in 10,000. Like that. And then it's disappeared because it's actually over the whole thing. And then, if I can remember, I think you go here and you go to advance. And I think it's draw back faces. Yeah, it is. And then you go to diffuse you load from file and you find your HDRI map you select the texture you press OK OK here you'll have a setting which does look pretty great and then you can also stretch out the floor and stuff but I think it'll be okay because it's gonna be set. Where's that? Here. So it's gonna be facing. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Very nice. Now, if I turn. Save that. If I turn this on, will it lag? Yeah, there's your lag. So, what I've found with this 3D editing, um, not just 3D editing actually, with specifically animated characters, is you have to move the cities and the stuff around them, so don't move them from here, basically. So I'm just going to rename this church, because I don't know what this building actually called, but um... I'm going to do this from the bottom, if I can. Here it is. The line from bottom. Okay, so I know I just said never move the model. However, I might have done something wrong. So I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna disable these two. And I'm gonna check and see if the animation is running right. Sometimes it jigs about. Okay, so she does a little bit of a kick, but that's alright, I guess. Yes, she's homemade. Okay, so now that she's good, I'm gonna go to scene setup. And it's time to align everything else to her. So that means 
first of all, increasing the size of this. Let me just see which way she's facing. She's facing towards us. So... That would be 90. I don't know maths. Uh, zero? Yes, that's exactly correct. So yeah, this is very laggy. Okay, so it's almost in the right place. I'm gonna make this bigger, so I'm gonna start with 700. Basically, sometimes I just get in the zone and I don't really talk when I'm editing. But I guess it makes for a nice change. Okay, we're almost there. I find that positioning the building around the person gives the less gives the least glitches. I just realised 
She's literally positioned right here. I could have just been positioning that around the whole time. Anyway. Okay, we basically got the premise of it set up. So now I'm going to go to layer, new, and add a camera. These are the camera settings I use. And I'm just going to press OK. And then I'm going to go to layer, new, and null object. Set this to a 3D. Set motion on there. Link it to here. And then save it again. I can just... It's gonna lag. Oh, the lag. Yeah, so these animation this animation girl definitely takes up. It definitely makes it lag. But I guess it's worth it. And then position. Just gonna have to go. Well, literally, there you go. That is how you get a three D scene. It's that took me like maybe hour and a half it's really simple actually um and i don't say that to sound braggy or whatever but you literally saw how i did it you just get the building from cg trader you put in the textures you can get the pre-animated character from mixamo or you can just animate it yourself export them put them together in element 3d put in a hdri map and you've literally just got a 3d scene so that's how i do them and then i'm gonna see if i can add some effects which is, I think it's under maybe render shadows. I don't know if that will work though. And then I do like to add a light sometimes, but I also sometimes do it in two views. Was that? I think I might have hit the edge of the HDRI map. Okay. A light layer. I think I'll do a point. And cards and shadows. Okay, so basically she's looking at this kind of like symbolic statue, which in this case is Sabrina because I think we all idolize Sabrina a bit and I'm a Sabrina Carpenter editor. So she's who I'm editing. Also, I made a storyboard. I full on made an edit of my edit plan. Um, I might put that in now, but I also don't want to spoil the edit because I have had my edits stolen before. 
So I don't want someone to see it and make my edit before me or anything. But, oh, I might show it afterwards, actually. Once I've made the edit, I'll do a comparison. But yeah. So I've saved the project. And now I just need to add in the statue. Okay, this is a good moment. If you import your object and it looks like this, then don't worry, it's not a corrupt object. I need to blur this out as well. Um, just delete it, go back to import, import it again, load all the materials, but press, I think it's invert normals. No, sorry. Go to import, do all of these, and then press use auto normals. And then as you can see, it's normal. So if that ever happens to you, that's how you sort it out. Oh, hang on. That's the wrong one. That was just as well. I was just about to force exit. There's the statue. Cool. Here she is. In all her glory. A tiny glory, but glory nonetheless. I need to blur this out.
S L N N E J B C. This one. Okay. Pretty good. So basically, that's how you make a 3D scene in After Effects using Blender, Mixamo, pretty much just anything. Um, so yes, I hope you found this one helpful. If you haven't seen part one, then definitely go check it out because I showed how I set, it up, set all this up. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful and looking forward to the next one. So, goodbye.